Hello everyone, uh, let's solve this problem, number of islands and this problem has been asked in many companies, you can see Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook and if I click here, you can see Goldman Sachs, PayPal, Nvidia, so many companies. So you can expect this type of problems in an interview. If interviewer wants to test on your uh, graph graph skills, then definitely he, he gonna start with this problem and they can, then he can increase the level of the problem. <coughs> so I'm hoping that you have tried this problem. So if you tried and if you couldn't able to come up with the approach, please go and learn graph algorithms like BFS and DFS, then come and give it a try. Mostly you will be able to solve this. So if you do that, you will increase lot of confidence in graph. So I'm hoping that you have learned DFS and BFS and you have tried this, but you still you are facing the issues, then only you are watching this video tutorial or else this video tutorial is not for you. Please go and give it a try. Now let's understand the problem clearly here you are <coughs> given m cross n 2d binary grid which represent a map of ones and zeros so here our ones represent land two represent water we need to return the number of islands number of islands what is an island island is a something like there will be water in the four sides sorry i need to change the color so this is my land and this will be my water so my land sh should be completely covered by water in all the four sides so this is my island an island is surrounded by water and is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically He's saying that suppose this is my land so the if this is another land so it is connected if it is land connected if it is land connected and it is land connected horizontally or vertically but not diagonally so if there is a land here and suppose if there is a land in diagonal position so this is not considered you may assume all four edges of the grids are surrounded by water and is saying that this is a grid and all the four sides of the grid are surrounded by water so it's like extra scenario has given now this is my grid you can see these are all connected 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 this is connected with this so you can form only one connected component now you can see in this so this is my one connected component one and this is my two because diagonally we are not checking only we are checking horizontally and vertically and this is my another component so it will be like three so here my constraints are 300 so it can be solved in brute force approach now let's see now let's see the problem so methods to solve this problem so first thing you need to know about bfs or dfs you can solve using both of this but today in this problem we are going to discuss about dfs so if you I think most of you know about DFS because you are solving the graph problem. Now, let's say suppose if you have encounter, encountered any uh, any land, if you have encountered one, so you have four possibilities, right? You can go up, right, left, and bottom. If you are going up, if you are going up, you are decreasing the x index. Come on, like row index. If you are going towards the right or left, you are modifying the column index. So we are doing the same here. So you can see here. We are decreasing the row r minus 1 and my column will be same here i am increasing my r if you are going towards the right side i am incrementing the column and if you are going left side i am decrementing the column if you are getting one you need to check all the four scenarios using recursion so i think you know what is recursion now let's see this example now suppose while iterating i if i got one okay i will come here and i will try to check right right bottom left and top and then i will go here then i will go here this is my one component okay then i will iterate then i will iterate yeah this is my one another component and then i will go and i will check okay and this is complete my another component this is very big right you can see here most of them are connected so it will be like three is my answer now try to code by yourself so this is a simple recursion so what we are doing we have four scenarios when you encounter the land <coughs> So we will do that only. First we will see the basic approach. Then we will try to optimize the approaches. Not the time complexity but we are optimizing the space complexities. Now here we are iterating i is equals to 0, j is equals to 0. If my v of ij equals to 1 that means we have encountered the land. We have encountered the land. So we need to go for 4 possible ways. We need to go 4 possible ways. And yeah we are doing the same. DFS of i plus 1, i minus 1, j plus 1 and j minus 1. These are all my four possible ways and what will be my base condition suppose uh, suppose you are at this position this is my land and at the at this position you have another land 
so in when you encounter this land you are visiting this land as well right you are visiting this land and you are saying these are all my connected components so let's make it visited now visited of i of j is true now visited of i of j is true and this is also true now if you are coming here and here you got one so you will go and when you are at this index you are saying that visited of i of j if it is false then only i can go now we are making it true because we already visited it so we are making it true so when you encountered this you will say this is already visited so i will not visit again so that's why we are using visited array so you can see here visited array and if my index are going out of bound we are directly returning it i less than 0 j less than 0 if i is greater than b dot size j is greater than v of 0 dot size if my v of i j is equal to 0 that means we are at the land and you encountered uh, water towards your right side so i will say directly return or else if my visited is equal to true if i am at this one and you have this one and you are at this one and here you have this one now first iteration you have visited here and here now this is visiting here and now for this it can go and visit this but we are saying this is already visited so we are going to return it so it's simple so we are returning and we are only counting the number of connected components we are incrementing the count and we are returning the c now interviewer will say okay try to optimize try not to use visited array you can modify the updated array but you should not use visited array now let's think how you can do this okay uh, i will think okay now if i don't use visited array can i make v of ij here i am making if it is zero i am making and here i have one so can i make it two if i make visit uh, v of i as two then i will say that this is already visited oh okay. yeah, yeah i can use this so it's going to be pretty simple now if i am going here and i am making v of ij is equal to two, that means it's already visited already visited instead of using visited array we are modifying the existing array now if interviewer is okay with the updation of the original vector then only you should go with this approach now if he is unhappy so we are you are making two right all the uh, once you are making two and in the final call after this for i is equal to zero j less than m if v of i j equals to two you make it one you will you can try this you can tell the interviewer that okay i will not modify it in the beginning i will try to modify it then i will restore my vector then i will restore my how you can use one more loop here and if v of i j equals to two you will make it one so it's simple right it's simple now v of i j equals to two we are making and it's code you can understand it easily now instead of using this four bfs dfs can you use something more optimal you can use like dx dy some vectors yes i can use now instead of using in increasing the coding level now let's use dx and dy this is very useful when you have eight scenarios sometimes the graph problems will have eight it can go to the diagonal as well so it can be like eight scenarios writing those eight dfs solutions is a bit tedious because writing all the dfs will make you uncomfortable so it's simple now what we are using dx 0 0 1 minus 1 that means we are at this position so you know right this one uh, four indexes so this minus 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 minus 1 these are all four values i am keeping in dx and dy uh, dx and dy am, and finally i am iterating it that's it it's simple i am incrementing the answer and finally we are returning the answer so here my time complexity will be order of n into n and we are not using any extra space so it will be like order of one so i am hoping that you have understood it if you understood this please do like and have created a whatsapp community you can join that whatsapp community for further updates and you can connect with me on linkedin i have given all this in the description and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye